this is probably a mistake to show you, but this is my under sink cupboard in the kitchen. And today, well I've had enough really. I don't know about the bottom part because I don't know what to do with them. But I was in a shop and I got, see these, I like these. I've got one in the cupboard for the food, like the Lazy Susan turntable organiser sort of thing. And two storage boxes so I'm going to see how much of a difference I can actually make. I hope. Yeah, it's quite a task. Okay, so I've decided I'm going to focus on the top part. We will ignore the bottom today. That is a job for another time. But I've taken everything out and realised it's actually quite a big space. So, here we go. Okay, it turns out I lied. This is day two, by the way, because I couldn't quite finish it last night. I ended up doing the bottom as well. I wasn't going to. But you know when you're doing a job and you think, I can't leave it half done. So this is the bit I did today. I couldn't put the hooks in last night. I was, I'd had enough. But hanging up my brushes and my cleaning lints. I've even labelled them. I know where everything is now. And... Spare gloves. I have packets of full gloves. Things that I need to get to quickly are hung up. For some reason, I've got one left handed glove, spare, and an absolute ton of right hands. I don't quite know what that says about me. I'm so happy. It's actually tidy. I believe this is tidy. If you saw the before. This is tidy and the doors close and everybody can use this, find what they need and know where to put things back. It's a game changer.